Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Astros versus Yankees game one of the ALCS on Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, SportsChatPlace.com, PickDogs.com, right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world today, head on over to our website, PickDogs.com. Click on the Premium Picks tab. And while you're there, be sure to use the discount code 15OFF. You'll get 15% off all of your purchases at SportsChatPlace.com and PickDogs.com. But let's get to this one. We've got the Astros taking on the Yankees. And, you know, the Astros have been sitting on the shelf waiting for the Yankees while the Yankees, that rain delay and, you know, pushing this one back, they've had no rest at all. You know, of course, their series went the distance as well, and that didn't help their case either. Jamison Talion getting the ball here for the Yankees, and the last that we saw him, well, he was the guy who broke that Yankee streak of 167 straight games that they, in the postseason, where the Yankees had led by more than two runs, or two or more runs going into the end of, the, going into the ninth inning that the Yankees had won. It was Talion that was the losing pitcher record and the one that broke that streak. Meanwhile, Justin Verlander hasn't quite been the same. You know, throughout his career, not the best, not his best stuff has happened in the postseason. Of course, that that we can look at that a couple of different ways. Number one is that, well, maybe the, the big stage isn't his thing. Or number two, now when you make it to the postseason, you're always playing against one of the good teams. And maybe Verlander, you know, he, he takes care of business against some of the lesser teams, against some of the better teams. You know, sometimes not always his best stuff. But at the same time, uh, we've seen Verlander come up with his big best stuff plenty of times throughout his career. And with some rest, and of course, with the bad blood between these teams, I expect Verlander to be in form for this game, which leads us, you know, to kind of to our pick in this game. And, you know, as as we come around, a lot of the trends here tend, tend to uh, lead to the under here. The Astros 18-7-3 to the under following a win. Um, they are... Uh, the under is uh, six and two in their last eight games overall. Seven two and one in their last ten playoff games. And then for for the Yankees, when we look at the uh, totals here as well, the under six and one in their last seven games overall. Six and one in their last seven on the road against a right-handed starter. Uh, five and one following a win. Four and one in their last five playoff games. So we see a lot of unders here to the Yankees as well. You know, I think that while I try and find a way to the over here with these two pitchers going, Verlander, who was hit last time, Italian, who, like I said, he was hit last time as well, I still think this game probably stays under. I'm going to take the under in the Yankees-Astros game, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free in the way they work. They show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds, and from there, you can assess the risk reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most and pay the most. And that's how you make money betting on sports.